Welcome to my Witch's Corners Sunday Angel Therapy Pick a Card Reading. Just pick the card that you are drawn to. Card one, clear yourself. Ask the angels to release any toxic energies that you may have absorbed. Card two, visualize success. See yourself doing well in this situation and have faith in the positive outcome card three throat chakra the angels are helping you lovingly speak your truth so if you picked card one let's dive a little deeper into this with the terror. Your first card is the Sade. And she lets us know that right now, in the situation that you're in, where you feel like you're picking up negative energies, bad vibrations, and you're just really feeling uncomfortable in these situations, you really need to listen to your spirit guides, listen to yourself as to how to go about this situation. How do we handle ourselves when we're in such an uncomfortable spot? And the second card, the world tree. And this lets us know that this situation, this interaction that you're having where you're feeling very uncomfortable very uneasy and it's just making you pick up bad vibrations it's just a cycle it's a phase and it's going to pass you just have to really allow yourself to listen to your guides listen to your spirit don't follow the nonsense around you. And you will definitely be able to clear yourself of that negative energy. In card two. If you were drawn to card two, visualize success. You start off with the Ace of Wands, which lets me know the situation that is drawing visualized success. 
this task, this goal that you set out upon, that you're really, <clears throat> you're feeling the negative, you're feeling the the ways people are thinking this ain't going to work for you. Let's put that aside and focus on, you have the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is a card that lets us know we are definitely going to succeed. We are going to be successful in our business, in our life, in our careers. And this is why you have visualized success. Because it is definitely something that is going to be successful. We just have to truly believe it. And the second card is the Knight of Athames. And this also lets me know that right now, even though you're trying so hard to succeed, you're trying so hard to accomplish, you're starting to feel sad, depressed, anxious, and it's really starting to get to you. You're starting probably to lock yourself in a dark spot, and we don't want to do that. We want to Believe in our power, believe in our strength. And allow allow that energy to brighten our lives, brighten our situations. And we definitely want to look at our future as bright as possible, as bright as we can. Just if we believe it, then it's true. And if you had card three, the throat chakra, let's pull your tarot and see what's going on here. <clears throat> so your first card is the Ten of Athames. And the Ten of Athames lets me know that you definitely have some healing work to do. There's some stuff you have to get rid of. Some energies that are just not working with you right now. And this could be past trauma. You just need to release yourself of it. Just allow yourself to really feel the way that situation affects you. Allow it to, to be present for a moment. 
and when you can see how it doesn't benefit you then we can start to release it start to forgive learn how to not forget but <clears throat> not always have this situation in the front of our heads because that will definitely put us in a bad way and when this says the angels are helping you lovingly speak your truth you definitely always want to be true to yourself and when we allow situations from our past that affected us in a negative way control the way that we're speaking the actions we make that's not truly being true to ourselves and sometimes the best thing we can do is get rid of them feel like what happened to you what what made you in the first place start acting different acting untrue to yourself was a it was unfair to you it was it was something you never asked for you never expected to happen to you and it's something that most people don't expect to happen to anybody. And it was really unfair. But I want to look at this card. And we can see there's three older gentlemen going against two young boys. And that seems very unfair. These boys are just learning the craft. They're just learning their powers. And now they're having to battle three much older, much wiser individuals. But the two have a book. And that book is very powerful. That book is, it holds knowledge, probably more knowledge than them three boys have put together. So even though it's an unfair battle, it's something we can overcome. You can definitely step out of this, allow yourself to heal by releasing and clearing the, the energy, clearing the space, clearing your mind of this negative that happened. And even though we can see that there's a lot of work to do, there's a lot of time we need to put into clearing this, at the end of the day, you definitely are just as beautiful on the inside as you are on the outside as this angel. <clears throat> 